Ensure is an insurance company that was struggling to compete in an increasingly digital, increasingly customer-centric marketplace. To drive digital to the core of their organization and improve their customer-facing interactions, Ensure decided to implement a new way of working and ERP system, but they needed to be able to guarantee predictable outcomes and accelerate time to value. This is how Ensure leveraged Marvim to drive, design and deliver their ERP implementation. Implementing an ERP system is not an end in itself. It is connected to a number of company goals and strategies, such as improving customer-facing interactions, reducing wasteful spending, or driving digital to the core of business operations. In Marvim, you can see how Ensure recorded their strategy, including their mission, vision, goals and objectives. Here they have created a context about the desired direction of the organization, ranging from general statements down to concrete performance indicators and standards. By zooming in on one of Ensure's goals, extreme customer centricity, you can see the organization's goals and the processes that support those goals. On processes such as closing agreement, you can set requirements on the way the ERP package should be implemented, creating the so-called requirement maps. However, you can also work from bottom up. You can start with the requirements and translate back into a process and from there make the connection to the organization's goals and strategies. In one overview, you can manage and visualize the design of your implementation. Part of the design phase is to determine which processes fit within the scope of the proposed ERP solution, as well as the necessary level of detail to be able to create reports around proposed implementation time, level of change to the current way of working, training need indicators for end users, as well as financial figures on estimated configurations. This step ensures clarity in regards to the impact the ERP implementation will have on the current way of working and the existing IT landscape. Another step in the design phase is capability mapping. Business capability mapping helps organizations to assess their own maturity, which provides guidance for developing and improving processes that meet the business goals of an organization. A final step in the design phase is requirement mapping. In this phase, you map the business and IT requirements onto the out-of-the-box functionality of the proposed ERP solution and connected processes to be able to determine the impact of the change program. Here you can see that Ensure has defined a number of requirements and have mapped those requirements onto the functionality of the chosen ERP package. This lets them visualize the fit gap and to which processes each requirement is connected. This feature of Marvim also lets organizations map their requirements and run multiple fit gap analysis to determine which ERP package requires the least amount of customization. The delivery phase is geared towards facilitating end user adoption during the deployment of a new ERP package. Great that the ERP is implemented according to the new way of working, but as an organization, you need to make sure the end users also work with it as designed to get the real benefits, value, improved customer experience out of it. Publication via SharePoint Office 365 allows you to communicate the new processes, connected roles and systems to end users. What is more, stakeholders will be able to monitor progress and verify changes made to the existing processes in the familiar Microsoft Office environment. This helps create organization-wide awareness and ensures end-user adoption of the desired transformation. At a detailed level, employees can check on the processes and work instructions that have changed in conjunction with the new ERP rollout. Marvim also offers an ERP Connect functionality, which will direct end users to the relevant screen within the organization's chosen ERP solution. The end user can also give feedback and will now become an essential part of the continuous improvement cycle. By providing valuable inputs on the way of working to the improvement team, it helps to articulate and validate improvement suggestions. For example, input to simplify the process, to address errors in the ERP system, to align business and IT. The input is then collected in the personal dashboard of each end user, which allows them to monitor the progress that has been made. The end user can also subscribe to different topics and add these as favorites in the dashboard to make it even more personalized, which improves the adoption and makes it part of day-to-day -day work. In this way, 
Marvim helped ensure, drive, design and deliver their desired ERP implementation.